Hello everyone, our topic for today is the basic ideas on about soil structures. This is the sample pictures of a soil structure, guys. So, soil structure refers to the clustering of the soil particles into characteristic aggregates of various sizes, shape, and stability of the soil. The first is the blocky structure and the second is the crumb granular. The third is prismatic, pillar-like with level tops. The fourth is the platy structure, has disc-like aggregates commonly found in the virgin soil and subsoils, generally make the soil poorly drained. The last one is a columnar structure, which is also a pillar-like with rounded tops like prismatic structure. And in additional guys, so another term for soil texture is known as soil separates, while another term for soil structure is soil aggregates. And just to remind you more important thing guys, to differentiate the soil texture in soil structure, yung soil texture po is hindi nagbabago. Just to picture out nyo na lang yung texture which is composed of sand, silt, and clay na kahit dagdagan pa natin ng anumang liming materials or organic materials, wala pa rin magbabago sa mga particles. But soil structures, ito po yung nagbabago. If you add some liming materials or organic matter, it will result to flocculation. Kung dati, yung soil na very dispersed, if you add some organic matter or a liming materials, it will become flocculated. Flocculation means is the clumping together of soil particles, inverse relation with the soil dispersion. This is the picture, comparison between soils with good and poor soil structure. Poor soil structure have a massive or compacted soil, while good soil structure is well aggregated and crumb. Okay, so inverse relation lang po silang dalawa. Poor soil structure have dominantly micropores, while good soil structure have balanced macro and micropores. Poor soil structures have poor drainage, poor aeration, poor root growth, while good soil structure have micropores for water storage, macropores for drainage, aeration, and root growth. Poor soil structure is hard to till, while good soil structures is easy to till. Poor soil structure has a low porosity, while good soil structure has a high total porosity. Poor soil structure is high bulk density, while good soil structure is low bulk density. The question is, what is macro and micropores? From the word micro, which means small. It is a small hole in the soil. This is the spaces between particles. The micropores can help to retain water while macropores help to drain excess water in soil. That is why macro and micro should be balanced to become a good soil structure. Now, what is bulk density? Bulk density is the weight of the soil in a given volume. The higher its bulk density, the more compacted. So, that's all for today guys. Hoping na may nalarin kayo sa ating video. And please subscribe na din sa ating channel. At para ma-update pa kayo ng mga susunod natin na topic. And aralan ng aral guys, kaya natin to. Maraming salamat. God bless.